Good evening. Welcome to a joint meeting of Planning and Development Subcommittee and the Town Council on Tuesday, September 19, 2023 at 6.32 p.m. Uh, first agenda item is roll call. Councilor Rivas. Present. Citizen Member Larishell. Here. Uh, Citizen Member Bernadon yep. is here. Oh, is here. Excellent. And uh, Councilor Adams is excused. Very good. Item number two, discuss review approval for an extension to the CDBG fiscal year 20 grant to December 31st, 2023 to allow more time for playground equipment to be delivered and installed and allow the town manager to sign any related paperwork. So moved. A second. Motion by Dee Dee, second by Kathy. Uh, I'll refer to this to Peg because this is typical of the CDBG process where mm -hmm. some things are coming to a close and trying to close them out and she's asking for an extension which I would recommend that we approve. Very good. Well said, yep. We are getting the last of the Canfields playground equipment. It's supposed to be installed in, uh, it's supposed to be delivered by September. They're telling us it's coming in October. So instead of risking, you know, any other requests for extensions, we just bumped it out to December. Okay. Any questions from the subcommittee? No. Any questions, audience? Very good. All those in favor? Anyone opposed? 4 0. Item number three Repro review, approve, applying for the Making It Public for Mass Municipalities 2024 application for up to $15,000 to fund public art initiatives in Southbridge and allow the town manager to sign any related paperwork. So moved. I'll second. Motion by DD, second by Kathy. Uh, Mr. Manager. This is, uh, again, continuation of grants that uh, Ms. Dean goes through with her department. Um, and I'll let her explain the process that she's looking for and uh, encourage us to apply for grants as we do. Thank you. Okay. Yes, uh, this feels a little like the um, process we went through for the uh, urban agenda to put a mural up in downtown. Um, this has a component in it that actually recruits two people from town to participate in a procurement process for how to do a call for artists, which is something we took many months to work through. How do we, what are we permitted to do, what laws do we have to follow? Um, we ended up having to do, you know, uh, protecting the previous artist's work or getting permission from the previous artist to remove the art. We weren't sure we could even do a call for artists. We ended up having to go out for quotes, which we didn't prefer. So this is a, a big learning opportunity through this grant. And then we get $15,000, 12 of which we're allowed to use to hire an artist to do some kind of art project in town. Because this came to me so quick, uh, so recently, I just learned about it last Monday, uh, what I propose in my memo is that we bring it to the Redevelopment Authority, if you approve, or if the Town Council approves, bring it to the Redevelopment Authority and allow them to decide what their next um, suggestion would be and let them champion it and execute the, uh, the opportunity. Any questions from the subcommittee? Any questions from the audience? Very good. All those in favor? Opposed? Unanimous of all present. Item number four, review or and approve a transfer from 4D code enforcement <coughs> to 6C parks and playgrounds to allow the town to hire Fontaine Masonry to complete the last of the McCannfield upgrades <coughs> and allow the town manager to sign any related paperwork. So moved. A second. Motion by DD, second by Kathy. Mr. Manager. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, through you. Um, as you're aware, we're trying to finish up the fields uh, and the playgrounds that we had uh, been ongoing down at uh, Henry Street, McMahon Field. Um, so this would allow us to complete some additional work and we're taking uh, Ms. Dean's recommendations from the code enforcement. As you're aware, we had written into CDBG grant for code enforcement. However, we've been having difficulty filling that position. It's been vacant for a long time. So there are funds available within the grant for this and I encourage us to uh, seek this to complete uh, additional work. I'll pick uh, the rest of the pick. Okay. So I initially I sent the email when I was waiting for a price and or the memo when I was waiting for a price and the motion because I was trying to prepare us for 7 I 
then updated the agenda item to have um, a, a not to exceed fee, and that didn't make it into the packets, but maybe it's for the best. That gave us a chance to go back to the contractor, Jamie Fontaine, and say, we need our number, and we need a written quote by the town, by the subcommittee meeting, which he was happy to do. And so I just handed it around to the subcommittee. So he's asking for $8,100 for the work, which is all of the <coughs> items outlined. I'm happy to share with anybody who's interested. I'll make sure I get to the town council. Um, and so this relieves the DPW of the burden to have to complete this work. Um, they, they were willing to do it back when we discussed it, back when Phil Harden was still the operations manager. Um, but since then, um, I, you know, I know that the focus has really been in roads as much as possible. And there's these last items hanging out there. Um, he, uh, I actually called him asking for a reference for who we might recommend. And he said, I'm happy to do that work for you if you want me. And he put in the concrete pads for us. So he's already been down there. He's done work for us. Um, and there's uh, the playground will be going in in October, so he can hopefully finish up marrying that playground. It'll be a rubber, huge rubber surface. He can marry that to the grasses. He'll marry his concrete to the grasses properly, um, and then again install all that's listed. Any questions from the committee? And to give up. Uh, Dee Dee. So just a quick question. Code enforcement person, we don't have one right now, right? Uh, under, under the grant, yes. Under the grant. So you want to take that grant money and put it towards finishing the park? Correct. And so, I'm sorry, I said we're going to get in We actually don't. So what I, I should have, just to make it a little more description in the motion, I should have stated CEBG fiscal year 20. Um, so if we could add for the town council motion, CDBG fiscal year 20, 4D funds to 6C funds. That will make it more specific. So um, I'll make sure, or if you wouldn't mind, chairman or whomever, yeah. Um, and so there, there are funds available because we have not filled the health code enforcement positions since Emily Quinn's left, nor the building code enforcement position since it was vacated by um, a long, yes, a long time ago. Okay, any other questions from the committee? From the audience. Me? Chairman Laszlo. I'd just like to comment, uh, thanks to see a local masonry company from Southbridge uh, doing the job. Um, he's well qualified. I'm going to support this when it comes to full project. Thank you. Well said. Well said. Anyone else? There being no further discussion, all those in favor? Opposed? Unanimous of all present. Item number five, adjourn. <laughs> Motion by Dee Dee, second by, by Councilor Rebus. All those in favor? Anyone opposed? We're adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>